Today we're doing something so super fun, so unbelievably easy and so delicious. We're making some homemade Italian style meatballs and all the fun stuff you can make with it. Like these air fried cheddar stuffed meatballs and this pizza spiral. <gasps> Doesn't that look good? Oh my God, it's so easy. Yum. copy of today's recipe check us out on facebook at poppy's cucina or right here on youtube under the community tab you'll find the recipe there all right so let's get started the thing we're going to do is make our meatballs. so in this large bowl i have two pounds of ground beef for meatballs you can use any kind of uh, meat blends you want you can use the beef pork or beef veal pork i like straight up beef i'm simple like that <laughs> all right so now to this we're going to add one cup of italian style breadcrumbs two large eggs two tablespoons of olive oil, a cup of Parmesan cheese grated, one quarter cup of shredded fresh basil, one teaspoon of granulated garlic, and then salt and pepper to taste. Now you're gonna get your hands in there, really get them nice and gross. <laughs> and we're gonna mix this all up until everything is nice and fully incorporated. Just like that. And now we're ready to portion. So we're gonna do a heaping tablespoon, or if you have to have one of these little handy dandy um, mini ice cream scoops, it's the number 40 scoop. I highly recommend it. It keeps all your um, portions very consistent, especially when you're making something like this. We're going to roll these out. You get this for like 10 to 20 bucks on Amazon, or unless you want a really fancy one. That's the ones that are going to cost you like $20. If not, I think I paid like 12 for this one. <laughs> so we're going to portion these all out. See, nice and cute. Okay, we're going to continue to portion just like that and now these are ready for the oven so into a preheated 375 degree oven they're going to go they're not that big so probably about 25 30 minutes tops you'll see they're going to get a beautiful um browning on them they're also probably going to render a lot of fat but they're going to be so delicious these are going to do something else with so let's get these in the oven but while we're while we're waiting for the other meatballs that are in the oven i reserved 12 that we're going to stuff with some cheddar cheese so here i have about a half inch cube of cheddar cheese. We're gonna put it right in the middle of the meatball and then just build the meatball right around it. See, now you'll never know what's in there. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do that to the rest of them. Oh, this could be so good. So yummy and so easy. What do you guys think so far? Think I'm onto something? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna keep stuffing these meatballs. Over here I have um, one egg that I added a little milk to and that I whipped up. And here I have a bowl of Italian style breadcrumbs. So now we're gonna dip one of the stuffed meatballs into the egg wash. Make sure to get it all nice and coated. And then right into the breadcrumbs. Make sure you get that nice and coated. It's gonna make it nice and crunchy. All right. Just like that. All right, so now we're gonna do that to the rest of them. It is very messy, not gonna lie. <laughs> but so worth it. So worth it. All right. Just like that. See, super easy. <laughs> so now you have some options. You could deep fry these, you could roast them, or you can air fry them. So for those of you that know me, you know how much I love my air fryer. So I'm definitely gonna air fry these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, spray them a little bit with uh, um, some olive oil and then into the preheated air fryer. It's gonna go at 350 degrees for eight to 10 minutes. You're gonna wanna give them a shake halfway through, but these are gonna come out crunchy and delicious. So delicious. Oh, I can't wait. Let's get them in the air fryer right now. So I just pulled these out of the oven. Um, they cooked faster than I thought. They only took about 22 minutes because they're small and still really hot. <laughs> but you can see they're done. <gasps> they look delicious and they smell amazing. Yes, yes. So there you have your meatballs. Super easy. You could throw these in a sauce, on a pizza, eat them like that. Toss them with like a barbecue sauce, serve them as an appetizer. Or if you're not gonna eat this many meatballs, you could freeze them, save them for another time. All right, but we're gonna do some fun stuff with these. So we're gonna allow this to cool and then we're gonna get the other stuff done. Yeah, fun. I think you need a drink. I know I need a drink. All right, so it's time. Uh All right, so 
for today's Italian rum punch, we're going to start with two ounces of sour mix. One ounce of strawberry daiquiri mix. Half ounce of amaretto. Half ounce of limoncello. And then one and a half ounces of a dark rum. All right, so we're gonna give this a good shaky, shaky. Pour, let's see, let's see. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that looks so good. Let's give it a try. That's it. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so good. Mmm, it's so refreshing. Oh, it's so fruity and tart. Oh, that's just, oh, the nice hints of the almond at the end. Oh, that's fabulous. You don't taste the booze, just the way we like it. <laughs> Gotta try this drink recipe, but if you do, let us know. All right, let's go check on those air fried stuffed meatballs. Mmm. <gasps> so we just pull these out of the oven. Oh my gosh, look how good these look. Oh, they look amazing. Oh, and the cheese is oozing out a little bit. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. But they're a little too hot right now, so we're gonna allow these to cool for a minute or two before we give them a try. <sighs> uh, is there anything that air fryer can't do? Yum. Love to eat. <laughs> oh my god! These are everything! Besides being an amazingly delicious meatball, you get the, the cheddar cheese in there, um, and it's crunchy. All oh, these are amazing! I can't believe I never thought of air frying meatballs before. <laughs> the insanity! All oh, these are just spectacular. So yummy, perfect for an appetizer, entree. <gasps> Dip those in some ranch. Oh, yes. Oh, so good. All right, let's get ready on all the other stuff. <laughs> so good. I'm just gonna keep eating these though. So here I have um, 16 ounces of pizza dough. You could absolutely make your own if you want. There's, you know, that's always the best, but this is a store bought, don't judge. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna roll this out into a 16 ounce circle. 16 inch circle that is <laughs> darn that italian rum punch <laughs> just like that then i placed it onto a sheet of parchment paper and onto our baking sheet all right so now we are going to make eight incisions so it's almost as if you're slicing the pizza but we're just going to do this right in the middle it'll make sense in a minute <laughs> all right just like that. All right. So now ready for our filling. First thing we're going to add is a thin layer of ricotta on the perimeter. Right. This is just going to add a beautiful creaminess to your spiral. Right. So we're just going to continue to add this beautiful ring of ricotta all the way around. Make sure you leave a little bit of a border. Just like that. Now we're gonna season the ricotta. I'm just gonna do a little bit of onion salt. Or you could just use granulated onion if you don't have onion salt. <laughs> it's a Trader Joe's thing. There you go. All right. And then we're gonna add some granulated garlic. Just to taste as much as you want, or as little, or you can leave it out entirely. We don't need to add any salts because all the other ingredients are gonna be salted and you don't want this to be too salty. All right. Next up, we're gonna add some tomato sauce or you can use pizza sauce if you want. Again, you can use homemade, but you find a good sauce. You know how much I love the Rayos. <laughs> you can use that or any sauce you like. All right, so we're just gonna continue adding this layer of sauce, not too much. Just like that. And now we're going to add our now cooled meatballs right on top of the sauce. So we just do the whole ring of the meatballs. 
just like that. Now we're going to top it with our mozzarella. So I'm using shredded mozzarella. We're going to use about a cup and a half to two cups of cheese total. Right on top. If it falls off, it's okay. The thing is, see what we're going to do. Right, but does this not sound amazing already? <gasps> oh, this looks so good. So yummy. All right, so we're going to keep doing the cheese. Just like that. Now we're going to add a little water to the center. We're doing this because we want it to stick to itself. So you don't need a lot of water, just enough to just get it a little damp. All right, so now you're going to take one of these little points from the middle. You're going to grab the other end, you pull it up, and tuck. All right, so you had to do that again. Pull this up, grab the other end, tuck over, and then see, because it's wet, it's going to stay. We're just going to keep doing this all the way around. Do you see what's happening here, though? How amazing this is going to be? All right, so we're going to keep doing this just like that. How pretty is this? Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it looks so pretty, and it's going to taste amazing. So now you want to um, drizzle a little olive oil on top of this. I'm using a spray. Pretty much just makes it shiny. Or you could do an egg wash. <laughs> All right, so now it's ready for the oven. So into a preheated 400 degree oven, it's gonna go for just about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, just till the pizza dough is all nice and cooked, beautifully golden brown. Everything else inside is cooked, so you don't have to worry about it. But look at it, look at it. You see this? Oh, I can't wait. So into the oven, it's gonna go, yum. You're waiting for the meatball parm spiral. Lulu, it's gotta cook, okay? It's gotta cook, it'll be ready soon, I promise. I promise, it'll be so yummy. <laughs> It'll be so yummy. Yes, it will. I promise. I can't make it cook faster. I can't. All right? But it's coming. It's coming soon. It's coming. I promise. I promise. 20 minutes later, we pull this out of the oven. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, my God. It's so beautiful. I almost don't want to cut into it. But it's going to taste amazing. But we got to let this cool for a second or two before we give it a try. But wow. Wow. So cheesy and delicious. Oh, I can't wait. Bon appetit. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. So hot, but wow! <laughs> yeah, this is so good. So good! And so easy. And it's beautiful. You might serve this to your friends. <gasps> oh my god, they're gonna be so jealous. I'm gonna be the talk of the town. So if you try any of these recipes today, let us know. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we'll see you again soon. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Poppy's Cucina. Thanks! Did I do good with tonight's dinner? I sure did. It was yummy, wasn't it? Yay. I'm glad you liked it. I think Doug liked it too. So did Drake. Yay. I did good.